And uh, so if the heavy particle collides the small particle in order to conserve momentum, most of the kinetic energy must stay kinetic energy independently if you have an elastic collision, as I show here, or an inelastic and you produce new particles, then they take the kinetic energy. And if you have two particles with the same mass, if now I make a collision, you see that all the kinetic energy I can do a uh, little bit more heavy, but uh, you see all kinetic energy is transferred to the new particle, or if the particle would come together like that, they would exchange their kinetic energy and go away in an elastic collision, or they could produce new particles from all this kinetic energy. No, it looks safe. more than 10 years <coughs> so we hope the uh, installation can be finished at the end of this year yeah. the beam pipe will be installed uh, of course of so 50,000 ton concrete used to build this there are a very special uh, sequence to build this emblem camera. So first dig the vertical shaft. It's reached to the top of the surface. And then dig about 10 meters emblem camera. Because at that time there is no side wall. They cannot build the side wall. Uh, value area plus end cup. So this is one end cup area. Right? So this is what we call central area, burial area. Then other side, there are another to detect the more So we're working uh, uh, by the big uh, magnets. It's like 40 meters or 70 meters of magnets. Wow! Looks huge. So our big component uh, confirmed here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no, that's the answer. Yeah, yeah, because there are people okay. mounted something here, so sorry. so not a lot. This is the sorry. The limit. It's okay. <laughs> no hurry. Uh, this is the magnet. We have eight Torido magnet, 26 meter long. The, the coil inside, like uh, <coughs> the, the, um, the race track, yeah. and the produced magnet field is a circle, huh? uh, perpendicular to the beam direction. Yeah. <coughs> uh, to bend the high energy muon, we, we want to have a four Tesla magnetic field. 
to, to produce a, such a high uh, magnetic field. A lot of current is needed. About 20,000 ampere current needed in the coil to produce a 4 Tesla magnetic field. So if we use a regular material, then the size will be like this. It's not possible to manufacture. So we have to use a superconductor. The inside the coil made by a now now beyond titanium. Uh, when this coil, this material cooling down to the 4.5 Kelvin, about uh, uh, 260 minus 269 degree, there is no resist in this coil. So when 20,000 mp current passes through, will not produce a heat. <coughs> but we have to cooling it. So. Uh, in Atlas detector, there are about uh, 1,300 tons cold mass needed to be cooling down. Yeah. So it will take uh, uh, several weeks before we can switch our magnet field. <coughs> so you're cooling down to the absolute minimum uh, really? Not uh, this is a liquid, uh, liquid helium temperature minus uh, uh, no, it's a 4.5 Kelvin, not uh, absolute zero. Yes, uh, okay. very close, very close. Yes, absolute zero is uh, minus 273. Yeah. So this is a minus 269. Exactly. Coming into the superconducting state. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. Because at that temperature, it's almost a superconductor. There is no resistance. Yeah. For LHC the magnet dipole, temperature even low, about 1.8 Kelvin. What you see is just a vacuum, vacuum uh, isolated uh, vessel because the coil, you know, needs to be cooling down such a low temperature, so must uh, isolate. To the beam line, detect the parallel to the beam line, huh? but in the end of the area, detect uh, located like a disc huh? face to the uh, beam line. So when particle make collision, then fry the you know, it's yeah, close. make collision, then particle will go from end of the area always uh, like a disc. Yeah, so just face to the coming particle. So when, when, it, when this is done, will this side look the same as the other side? Yes. Okay. Symmetry. Yeah, okay. So this is the two layer of the uh, muon detector yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is this the, the biggest experiment of LHC? Yes. Yeah? This is the biggest. Yeah. Uh, in LHC, there are four experiments, but uh, uh, only two experiments we call general purpose particle. One is Atlas, one is CMS. CMS is a little bit smaller than Atlas. Right. So this one is part of what cost uh, was how much it was? Uh, the cost for Atlas detector about 550 million Swiss francs. Yeah. It's all cost. Most of them used for hardware, not include the manpower, a salary of manpower, because the manpower are normally paid by institute. Uh, individual institute for university. The total cost for LHC is about uh, 3 billion euros. The, the turner is, uh, is old, uh, not new. <laughs> but this, for, for Atlas, the underground cavern is completely new. Because the previous underground cavern is not big enough to hold the Atlas detector. <laughs> Uh, the the the, uh, the magnet uh, or device uh, for LHC is uh, completely new because uh, the the magnet uh, used for left is not is not good enough to use to dismount everything and put the new magnet because beam energy is completely different. So there's another cavern uh, for the old uh, old one. It was uh, somewhere else. Yes. There are several, there are two experiments to reuse the underground cavern, which used for previous experiments, just to reduce the cost. Because yeah. the other two experiments are quite small. 
and it can be, you know, put the put the, the new experiment. become 700 bit uh, gas ion. So the volume increased a lot. So this kind of uh, gas will occupy the end ground cavity. In this case, the oxygen level will be reduced. So this is why we mount a lot of oxygen sensor in this area. If the oxygen level below 18%, uh, normally the 21%, below 18%, then the right will start fresh. Siding, you will start. You will see a live sound in this area. So in this case, you should go out immediately. Yeah. Has it happened before? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah. uh, if uh, oxygen level below 15 percent, it's very dangerous. So people will get asphyxiation. This is a sign of asphyxiation. Yeah. You. So entering another area. When we got in, we were completely closed. But this area is okay. Uh, people still can stay here, check the status, and get some contact. Trying to get A lot of redundancy. Yes. But I mean, can you project out how, how many decades it will be before the whole thing will have to be? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sure they do a lot of uh, yeah, yeah, of because of radiation. Yeah. For example, for a true silicon pixel detector, we may we test it by uh, radiation. So we just try to keep the light for about 10 years. If the detector works at uh, long temperature, we can so we have to call in this to the minus and keep planning for ten years. Because the detector probably is not a one of course maybe after <coughs> ten years people already start to have to Uh, the magnetic field is a big volume. We want to have very good uniformity. So one layer coil is not enough. You see, we have four layers, a lot. Each, each layer about 20 coils to 
produce a four Tesla <coughs> and a very uh, uniformity magnetic field for beyond detector.